I'm Nikki, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm studying ecology and urban studies. I've had a little bit of art experience. I've only taken classes in high school and a couple in college, but outside of that, I really like drawing and painting and just practicing art on my own. Hi, my name is Sydney Bolesky and I'm studying international business. My art experience before this class was very limited. I only took art classes in high school. Hi, my name is Ava. I am from California, but I'm studying in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm majoring in environmental studies and design. My name is Jack McKenna, and I am from Albany, New York. I study environmental science. Before this class, I did not have any experience with painting murals. My name is Alondra. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I am studying biology, scientific visual communication, and minoring in Spanish. My name is Camille Kerner. I'm from Durham, North Carolina, and I'm studying studio art. I think that public art and murals are a way to democratize art and make it accessible to the public and then being able to have it um, on the street or for everyone to see. I think it helps just add to the beauty of the city and it adds a lot of vibrance. It shows you what people are thinking about and what artists are thinking about in the city and it's not just confined to a museum or a classroom or anything. I think public art and murals specifically are just a great form of expression for people. Public art instills hope into communities and gives things for people to talk about and to feel things when maybe they don't have access to going places that they get exposed to art. They add a, an element of beauty and aesthetic value to neighborhoods. They're a way for uh, community members to express themselves freely, to send a message, or whether it be political, social, or cultural, or otherwise. When we first started designing the mural, we interviewed a couple of people in the street and a couple of people from Veritas, and we just asked them what they liked of the neighborhood and of San Jose and everything, and what they would want to see in a mural. And so we wanted to portray this sort of mix between nature and the city. And how there's kind of this juxtaposition between the two, especially in San Jose and Costa Rica in general. We're studying in San Jose, it's a bustling big city, but right outside our door there's a spider or there's this beautiful nature to be found and so we kind of wanted to talk about that, that kind of intersection of the two. I believe the meaning of this mural is to show kind of an absurd narrative using different objects and things to represent the power of femininity and the fluidity of living. We have the woman with the sun with the water and then we have the papaya, the flowers. We also just wanted to make something that was kind of lively and contrasted to how it has been for a while now. With the COVID situation and just being a gloomy. So we added a couple of characteristics that were a little bit more like silly and absurd that would really catch people's attention. I think we also wanted it to be something that was eye-catching, something that had really stimulating design and sort of portrayed this contrast between cities and humans and nature and how those things can sort of flow all together. The mural kind of goes in like a wave so there should be eye flowing motion throughout the mural. When I go back home, I'm gonna keep creating art and I would love to continue to paint murals, specifically. When I get back home, I will continue to make public art and murals whenever I can, however I can. I will definitely continue creating art. I think coming to Costa Rica has really opened my eyes to how much I enjoy painting murals and public art in general, and especially working in such a wonderful collaborative group. I think that it's such a great way to build your creativity and kind of be able to expand yourself in ways that I didn't know that I could. I definitely plan on creating art. Being here and working on this mural especially has showed me that I can push my skills a little bit more and taking something that we just drew on like a really small notepad and putting it up on this really big wall has showed me that I can play with different art mediums, that I can try different skills and I feel like it's given me a lot of momentum to go back home and just keep creating and even see if I can paint anything this big again. I do want to keep creating art in whatever form that may be, be it as a hobby or maybe even as a career. For me, the mural is important because it's like I'm leaving a piece of me here and Costa Rica has given me so much in this experience abroad that I want to leave something for Costa Rica while I, before I leave.